I'm dying. Call the ambulance. <laughs> Okay, so I just read the most traumatic book of my entire life. Like, I have never wept, and I never will weep so hard again over a book in my life. I am pretty, pretty confident. Like, I'm still crying. I'm letting you guys see everything. Like, my makeup is like, I've been crying for the last, like, hour and I just want you guys to get the full effect of what this book has done to me. I am, I'm a mess. The book is called Where the Red Fern Grows and I don't have a copy of it because I listened to it on my audiobook which made it even, that just served to heighten the trauma. I heard of this book on Reddit and I don't even know what the thread was. I'm pretty sure the thread was like something about sad books or like books that have just stuck with you forever and someone just like mentioned where the red fern grows. I didn't look into it or anything. I was just like sweet I like crying while I'm reading books so I downloaded it and whoa whoa my emotions are very confused because i'm very traumatized but at the same time i'm glad i read this book where the red fern grows is about a boy named billy he lives i don't even know what year it is it's like years ago probably early to mid 1900s i would assume um but he lives like in the mountains he wants to order two little hunting dogs, two little hounds, and his family is poor, so he scrimps and saves to buy these dogs. The very first scene of the book, it tells you straight up that the story is about how in the past this man had two dogs that gave up their lives for him and right at that moment I was like no why I should have looked into this book because human deaths really like make me sad like I cry all the time but there's ju there's just something about animal deaths that I just cannot handle it's just the innocence of the animal. Human beings were kind of messed up sometimes and we have character flaws and all that kind of stuff however animals, especially dogs, they just want nothing except to love you and so there's just something about an animal death that just like, I, whoa. The entire book I was sort of just like dreading, dreading what was coming. I felt like I was like sitting on eggshells the whole time because I knew it was coming and so I don't know how I feel about that. The book was still good though. I think I'm gonna get into spoilers so if you've never read the book and you really feel like you can handle it and you want, and you want to be very, very sad for a very long time, I recommend this book. So yeah, if you haven't read it and you don't want spoilers, See you later, come back and talk to me about it because I need to just, I need to, I need to vent. I need to vent, guys! So, as I said, I felt like I was walking on, like, reading on eggshells, if that's a thing. Reading on eggshells, um, this entire book because I knew the death of these dogs were coming and I just, like, could not stand the idea. There's, like, quite a few times when the dogs, like, were close to, like, there were so many times when the book, like, caught you. It was like, oh, something bad was about to happen. And then you were like, what's gonna happen? Like, is this the day the dogs are gonna die? And then it wasn't. And then like, it just, wow, what a ride. In the end, looking back, the audiobook sort of made the book for me a little bit. I'd be interested to know what I would have thought about it if I didn't listen to the audiobook because this voice actor was incredible. He was perfect for the role. He had this, like, um, southern, old school southern accent and humor which was just like perfect for this book and he knew exactly what emphasis to put on what words to make you fully understand what the author was trying to portray. I think if I was reading it just in like my voice I wouldn't have fully like got it. I wouldn't have been able to create those characters properly and so I'm really glad that I downloaded this as an audiobook and so if you're thinking about reading this book, <laughs> wow you're brave but do it on audio, like go to Audible and download it because it is worth it. Like it, it brings an entire new life um, and perspective to this book that you may not otherwise have. The writing of this book was absolutely exceptional. You were attached to these dogs, like old Dan and little Anne. To be honest, they, right now I feel like I had a death in the family, like my own pets died. Like I'll never read this book again but I almost just want to buy it just to put on my shelf just because I feel like 
they will always be a part of my life. Like, these dogs are characters that will forever be with me and be in my heart. I don't know if I'll ever be able to put myself through this trauma again and read this book, but I will never forget Little Dan and Little Anne. And that's just because of the author's writing. He just had a way of, like, personifying these dogs and making them seem like, like, humans just without the character flaws. Like they had uh, personable character traits, like old Dan was uh, perseverant, he was loyal, um, he was determined, and little Anne was smart, and, <laughs> and, uh so The writing was just like perfect. It was perfect. Um, the author really did a great job of getting you connected uh, to these characters and Billy too like he did a great job of just writing the love that Billy had for these dogs and like transferring that onto the page so that you fully felt the brunt of these deaths. I will never forget them. I will never ever forget them. This book was not what I expected based on the title at all. As I said, I like didn't look into this book at all, so I was just going based off the title. Where the Red Fern Grows, I don't even know what I thought. Like, I thought it was gonna be like based in like the jungle or something. Like, I have no idea what I thought. Maybe something more like metaphorical? I'm not really sure, but this was not at all what I was expecting. So I started thinking that they were going to find like a, a secret cavern or something and sort of go on this adventure into a place that ended up being really dangerous. But in the end, the red fern was the symbol that grew on their grave and it's just like one punch to the gut after another. The whole book, the author has been tying these like mountain legends into the story. I, I think one of the things I love about these books the most is the legends that the author tied in and the concept of like is God answering my prayers through these dogs like the whole thing starts with Billy praying um, for God to give him a way to get these dogs and then one after the other just like he sees these things that he attributes as like he claims their miracles and God is answering his prayers um, whether it's through the wind or um, through just being able to raise the money to get the dogs. Finally, in the end, these dogs end up providing the money that his parents were needing to move into the city. And these dogs were just like a blessing of God to these people's lives. And I think that was one of my favorite parts of this story was just bringing that aspect of faith into it in a childlike way. In the end, he sees the red fern grow on his dog's grave. What a beautiful symbol. I was like weeping driving down the road and like drivers were probably like wondering what was happening and there was like snot coming out of my nose. Like it was disgusting guys. Like it was, it was disgusting. I pulled into my parking spot and the book wasn't done yet and I just sat there for like a solid hour just like weeping and one thing after another would just like cause a new wave of just wailing. <sighs> What a wonderful book. There were just so many good things. The writing was wonderful. Um, the characters were just so, so good. The stories that this kid like went through in his hunting, like this would not be something that I would normally be interested in. Like hunting, I'm not interested at all. And that's because I have no interest in ever killing an animal myself and I really don't want to hear about it but there was just a magical aspect to this writer's writing that just drew me in. There was just something magical about this story and if you are willing to <laughs> to suffer the way I have suffered and if you're really feeling like you really just need to release the tears um I do recommend this book. I recommend it and I didn't think I would but I do. I do, and it's because of the depth of the characters and the void that they have left in my life. This is a story that just stays with you forever and there's not many books that you can say that about. It's, it was just really good guys. I'm going to give it a four out of five entertainment wise and I'm gonna give it, I'm gonna give it like, I'm gonna give it 10 out of 10 for like character development, plot construction, themes and symbols, I'm giving it a 10 out of 10 because what the author was trying to portray was just so, like his execution of his story was so well done. If you read it, please talk to me about it. I just need somebody who like has been through what I have been through. Talk to me about it in the comments. Give me a shout out on Twitter. Um, I'll put all my information below for you. So yeah, I hope you guys are having a fantastic day and we will see you next time. Bye. Thank you.
Thank you.